Hello, my name is Malia. I am 12 years old and I am a contestant on this season of MasterChef Junior. And I'm Katie. I'm a Tasty producer and I am much older. Uh, so today we are going to be competing to see who can make the best dish. Should we look over these rules? Yeah. Rule number one, we must make a dessert. Rule number two, the dessert must be something that you would serve at a fancy dinner party. I love dinner parties. Are you throwing dinner parties all the time? I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I, gotta, I just go to them. You're very cool. And rule number three, the star ingredient must be chocolate. Are you ready for this? Yes, let's do this. I, oh, wow, okay, let's do it. Let's, yes. I don't have a huge culinary background. I would say like I'm a self-taught home cook. I was around three or four years old when I started helping out in the kitchen. Baking and cooking, they're just in my comfort zone. Look. I'm terrified of this kid. She's been on MasterChef Junior, okay? I love Katie. She's super sweet, super nice. I think she just might be a little nervous, but that's okay. We all get nervous. But I do have the home court advantage because we're in the Tasty Kitchen. I know my way around, I know the gear, and I feel safe here. When I'm in competition, I keep calm. And I've always had that little voice in my head that says, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it. And if I don't make it, at least I try my hardest. Okay, so we're ready to get started. You also have a very cool jacket. I have a black apron. But yeah, so what are you making? So I'm making a chocolate souffle with oh. a raspberry coulis and a dollop of whipped cream. I am making a chocolate, dark chocolate caramel tart with a chocolate cookie crust and a little sea salt to go on the top. But That's fancy. Thank you. Okay, well before we begin, let's wish each other good luck. Yeah. Do you wanna shake or do you wanna? Hug. Oh my gosh, okay, let's hug. Good luck, good luck. You're awesome, okay, good luck. My first step is I'm gonna make my crust. I'm gonna food process these cookies so that they get ground down like a sand texture to make my tart crust. What are you doing? Well, my first step is I'm just taking my ramekins and I'm buttering them and then I'm sprinkling it with some sugar. So how often have you made this souffle before? It's not like my strongest soup, but I feel like, yeah, you gotta live life. You, yes, you've gotta live life. Now that these are done, I'm going to go put them in the fridge so they could chill. I think you're feeding me already. I'm taking this vanilla bean and I'm scraping out the vanilla bean pods, putting this in the pot, and then adding my whole milk so that could simmer. So now that my crust is done, I'm gonna prepare my tart pans. So I just wanna make sure that we have the right proportion of yeah. crust to not too thick, not too thin, you know what I mean? Slow and steady. Slow and steady. I'm dumping my sugar and my flour into a bowl. Then I'm going to add my three egg yolks. After that's done, I'm going to gradually put this in and whisk. Wow. Once you commit, you just gotta commit. Yeah. Good, well while you do that, I'm gonna go bake these. All so right, I'll good be... luck. Thank you. So now I'm just going to put this back in the pot and I'm going to let it boil for one to two minutes. I think Malia is doing awesome. She's got lots of burners going and I'm very impressed. I think that the flavoring and the texture is gonna be a winning combination. So now I'm just taking my thick dough out and now I'm just gonna add my dark chocolate into my double boiler. <laughs> and I'm just trying to have this melt as soon as possible so then I could just put the chocolate into here and then I seal it tightly. Yeah, it's good. So I'm gonna make my ganache now and I'm just gonna heat up some heavy cream and put it with some dark chocolate. And as you can see, it's really melting all the chocolate. Thickening up here. I'm gonna go check on my crust. And I'll keep coming back. As long as Katie's not here. Good. We are just putting this into here. And now we're just going to mix. Did you miss me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well my crusts are done if you wanted to know. Cool. I'm gonna pour my ganache now. So, Malia, what do you want to be when you grow up? All right. <laughs> do tell me, let's dig in. A lawyer wow. or a nurse? Both of those are so good. And I want to be a critical care nurse. That's gonna be intense. Yeah. That's gonna be, are you ready? I am ready. Like if I trust fold right now, you yes. catch me? Okay, ready. No, look. <laughs> no, you'll be great. If I was in critical care, I would want you at the oh, door being you. like, hello. Here's a souffle and a big needle. So, and a big yeah. needle, that's right. You can do it all, Molly. I, I believe in you. Okay. I'm just gonna keep producing tasty videos. <laughs> I'm gonna go put this in the 
the fridge. I might even put it in our like strong freezer just to speed this time up. And now just went in my pot. We have the raspberries, sugar, and lemon juice. And just for a little kick, we are going to add some shampoo. Are you allowed to drink that? That's alcohol, right? It right? cooks down. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start making my caramel. It's brown sugar. We're gonna do some butter, and when I say some, I mean a lot of butter. We're gonna do some light corn syrup, and then I'm gonna add some heavy cream, and then we're gonna add some salt. What I am worried about is that this won't set in time for the judging, so. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So you're making one? Yes, I'm pouring my heavy cream. So just get started and fluffy, then I add my powdered sugar. But I'm just gonna add it half, because I don't want it to like, because I've had yeah. that happen before. Just add the rest in slowly. So now I'm going to go put this in the fridge. So my caramel's really, it's starting to boil right now. And I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm, yes. I mean it. <laughs> now I'm just going to grab a bowl and a strainer. Ooh, okay. Because this is like kind of like a compote or like a, yes. a puree that you're going to yeah, like put over of. it. And I guess like this is also a way to make jam. My mom makes really good, we have a pomegranate tree in our, when growing up, but I wasn't allowed to eat pomegranates inside the house because they stain everything, you know? So I had to eat it with a bib outside. <laughs> can, can I try some too? Mmm, mmm. Well, yeah, I'm feeling intimidated. You should be, no, I'm just kidding. Now I'm going to do my egg whites. So it's nice and fluffy. Are you doing an accent right now? I'm like us, so. Oh my god, are we British? And when it has soft peaks, I'm going to add my fine sugar. Fluff, 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 fluff. 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 Oh, it is getting really fluffy. Yes. So how you can test caramels, you can take some and put it in a cold bowl of water, and then you can see if it balls up. And you kind of kind of know if you're close or not. And I am not close. So I just gotta wait a few more minutes. Now that this chocolate base is back from the fridge, I'm just going to add my fluffy egg whites. A third of it is going to go in. We're not gonna fold this one because we want to get a little bit of texture. Well, I put my ganache in the freezer and it got really hard, but I think that's gonna be okay because I'm about to put hot caramel on it, so. Here goes my caramel. Oh God. Okay, we're just gonna slow this one down. Okay. I'm gonna just now do my seed salt. I like got a little excited. And now it's a little bit more set. I'm gonna do that on this guy. Now all I have to do is go put them in the oven. Okay, great. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna hang out and eat some caramel and some cookies. Mm -hmm. So next I'm gonna take these tarts out of their pans and put them on a plate. I have melted some chocolate and I'm using a piping bag just to do like a nice little drizzle across the top. All in all, still feeling pretty good. I still feel like I could win this thing. So my souffles just came out of the oven. I'm just going to put dollops of whipped cream on the outer side of the plate, drizzle the plate with raspberry coolie. Take my powdered sugar, and I'm just going to sift it, sift it, sift it, then a raspberry on top. I do think I'm gonna win. I wish for the best of luck, but later, skater. I'm Jen Harris, and I'm a senior food writer for the Los Angeles Times. Today I'm going to be judging the dishes that Katie and Malia made. Nobody told me Jen Harris was going to be judging this competition. She's tried all the food, she knows all the chefs, she's written about tons of restaurants. I think Jen would really like my food because I try to cook for my culture and my heart. For me, what makes a good chocolate dessert is something craveable. It has to have like good chocolate flavor, but I also like a little bit of salt, a little bit of sour, something to balance out all that heavy chocolate. I'm gonna be looking at plating. Does it look like something that would be at a fancy dinner party? Does it look like something I'd wanna pay a good amount of money for? I really have no idea who's gonna win. Hey Jen, thank you for coming to judge today. Thanks for having me. We're not gonna tell you who made what dish. Are you excited? Yes, I'm a little excited. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Me too, but, but we're fine. We're good. It's calm. Don't be nervous. I'm just super tough. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with this one. That is beautiful. Already like the plating. See, it's supposed to be with souffle. It has fallen a little bit. It is not exactly as high as I would like it. Still warm though. Ooh, texture is really good. It's super light, nice and cakey. There's like a little bit of crust across the top. Now, you know what? Let me get a little bit of this. Mmm, 
This souffle is pretty fancy. Uh, I feel like if I went to a five-star restaurant and I ordered this for dessert, I'd be really happy. A little disappointed that the souffle fell, but in terms of flavor and texture, the chocolate flavor uh, is like a really nice punch of chocolate, balanced out with that like cool raspberry coolie. Very impressed with this. Dessert number two. Oh, so kudos on the plating. I like that little drizzle of chocolate on there. I think it is a uh, caramel tart of sorts. I like the crispy crunch of the crust already. This is also very good. Good level of sweetness. I love the like, sea salt on top. You very much taste the caramel, so you can't really taste the chocolate. It's getting a little lost, but I would definitely eat this entire thing still. Both of these desserts were super fancy. I would be happy with either of them, but I was told I have to pick a winner, so I'm gonna pick one. And the winner is the chocolate souffle. Woo! Whose is the chocolate souffle? <laughs> oh my gosh, good job! Thank you. I had faith nice in you. Job. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's thanks. a oh, hug. Your, yours no. was very good no, too. No, thank you. But this is the clear winner. Oh my god. <laughs> I won! Woo! I lost. It's okay. Winning is not everything. I'm like pretty sad. I think Jen made the right choice. My advice for Katie is a little caramel goes a long way. Today I learned that like losing can still be fun because I had such a fun time cooking with Malia. Like she's just so cool. And I still feel good about my dish. So I just feel like I've learned to have a more positive attitude. I love this day. It was super fun. I got to meet Katie. I feel like I'm accomplished. I would definitely rematch Malia just because I could like hang out with her more because I really like hanging out with Malia, but also because I want to win.